Well, Lucas, here we are. Grade 12, the big leagues. Yeah, first day of class and I already hate my life. I've been reduced to tears in two of my three classes already today. I just played it off like my dog just died, but no, it's just the work. My dog's perfectly fine. That's exactly how my morning has gone, too. They say high school is going to be the best three years of your life. If that's true, clearly my life is going to shape up to be the most awful existence ever. But hey, in CPT next class. And if there's one thing I always counted on CPT for, it's being ridiculously easy. You're right. I've handed in consistently average work in that class, and I'm getting by just fine. Come up with a stupid idea, put on a silly outfit, you press a button, and you're guaranteed a 95. It's that simple. A couple of garage band songs, a few stupid short films, we'll be golden. We're gonna pass this class like nothing. Good, because I don't think I can keep crying in class. I'm beginning to get a reputation around here. <laughs> don't look at me! Everyone, quiet down. Everyone, quiet down! Now I know it's the first day of CPT 30, and you little creeps just want to get your slimy paws all over my cameras. But not this year. You've all got to smarten up and get your heads on straight. This isn't CPT 10 anymore. Um, Miss Griffith, are we allowed to uh, use copyrighted music this year? Will we be using copyrighted music this year, Mr. Griffith? Shut up, you creepy little moron! I will have no interruptions in this class! Now, this year the project's going to be a 25-minute movie. It's going to take a lot of time and effort. And nothing less than perfection will be accepted. And I am not going to help you, ever. Twenty-five minute movie? That sounds like quite an undertaking. Yeah, I say we just drop the class. No, Lucas. We can do this. We've made ten minute movies before, and this is just two and a half times that. We'll make it twenty, and then we'll have five minutes of blooper and extended credits. This is gonna be a piece of cake, Lucas. Okay, I'll trust you. But what are we gonna make our movie about? Lucas, that's easy. I've got tons of good ideas. Okay, like what? Um, well, uh, let's see here. It can't be about a dancer, because I already did that one. So that narrows down the list. Yeah, by one. Okay, okay, um, well, let's just make something really cool then, like, uh, like a kung fu movie. Like ninjas and stuff. Yeah, that's a great idea. Like, I could be a ninja? Yeah, and I'll be a ninja too. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I'll have one of those ninja stars. I'll throw it at you. Whoa, yeah. But then I'm going to deflect it with my ninja sword. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. And then we fight like ninjas. <laughs> so you put up a pretty good fight, but in the end, the best ninja wins. I stab you, and you die. No, I'm not dead. You didn't kill me yet. I throw my star and I kill you. Ha! Lucas, you didn't kill me. Everyone knows I got blessed by special samurai stuff and I can't die anymore. Ho ho ho, well I got blessed by magic ninja and I can beat you. No. No, Lucas, that doesn't work. Why wouldn't it work? Because it's just not the way. You're not the way. No, Lucas, you can't win. Everyone knows that once a samurai blesses you, you cannot be defeated by a mortal man. That's just the way it works. Okay, okay. This is a dumb argument. Let's just think of something else. Okay, you're right. Plus, writing our script in Japanese would be hard anyways. Okay, okay, I got an idea. Why don't we make an art film? Yeah, an art film. That's a great idea. Just a bunch of shots of like balloons and apples all done in black and white. That's gonna be so easy. Yeah, people will think we're all poetic and deep. People love that kind of stuff.
L'horloge va le tic tac tac. L'horloge tourne en Jim. Actually, now that I think of it, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, I don't think many people could watch that for half an hour without contemplating suicide. But is it deep to make people contemplate suicide, Lucas? Maybe people will still think we're cool for making them want to die. Yeah, but Chris, I don't think we'll be very cool for too long if everyone who watches our movie and thinks we're deep ends up jumping off of a bridge. It's still early in the semester, we've got a lot of time ahead of us. Let's just go home, sleep on it, before you know it, we'll have a great idea. You know what? I think you're right. We'll go home, we'll think about it, we've got all the time in the world. Chris, I found the best idea for a movie the other day. Oh man, is it good. <sighs> okay, tell me what it is. Well, yesterday I was walking home past the football field and I saw the football team was practicing. And I thought, a football movie. Everyone loves football movies. Why don't we just do one of those? You're right. Everyone does love football movies. That's a great idea. Thanks. We just need a bunch of sports movie cliches. It's the final game. The team has been through a tough season and done a lot of growing. They've learned to put aside their differences for the love of the game. Then the coach gives them their final motivational speech. All right, boys. We've been through a tough season. Uh, I feel as if we've all done a lot of growing. I know you've all put aside your differences for the love of the game, and I really respect that. Now, you all know what we have to do here tonight. Remember, no one, and I mean no one, comes into our house and pushes us around. We all have to come together on this hallowed ground, where we could be destroyed. Great moments are born from great opportunities, boys. That's what we have here tonight. It's a great opportunity. You know, I look out all these young faces and I think to myself, I made every mistake that a middle-aged man can make. I uh, pissed away all my money, uh, chased off everyone I love, and uh, lately I can't even stand the face I see in the mirror. Hey, I'll tell you something, boys. Life, it's, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Nah, it's gonna hit you hard. But in life, it's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Now that's how winning is done. Now let's go out there and show them what we're made of. <laughs> This is it, the final down. I'm calling a red 17 over the top button hook. Let's do this, ready? Break. But Lucas, uh, we don't have any idea how the game of football is played. Darn it. You're right. I have no idea how to play football. I'm such an idiot! And what was with that speech? I think one of those lines was from Rocky. How much of that speech was just copied from other movies? 
the whole thing. Got any more ideas? Finding anything here, Lucas. Who would have thought the Encyclopedia Britannica wouldn't even have one single good movie idea? Yeah, I got nothing in his Bio 30 textbook either. Maybe we should just do something based in real life. So, you mean like uh, reality TV or something? Yeah, we can just go around filming each other doing everyday stuff, like going to school and doing homework, just stuff like that. Yeah, but Lucas, I really don't think anyone would enjoy that. I mean, I live my life 24 hours a day, and I have never once enjoyed it. Yeah, you're right. Plus, there's some pretty weird things I do before I go to bed that I don't want people to see. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So what we need to come up with is something based in real life, but not our terrible real lives. Something where uh, ridiculous scenarios occur all the time. Yeah. And they all resolve themselves in half an hour, and we share a laugh and learn a lesson along the way. Yeah, it's like a comedy with situations in it. Real, Real life zany, zany situations. situations. Wow, how has no one ever come up with that before? That's a brilliant idea. <sighs> oh gosh, I just had the worst day. Ever. Well, I got fired from my job at the laundromat today because some dogs were eating ladies' blouse and all the quarters turned out to be salami. <laughs> well, don't even get me started about a bad day. I dropped my mother's 24-liter pickle jar and now I have to find a place to put them. Your mother's prized pickles? Yes, I was walking up the stairs and I tripped and I dropped them. <laughs> oh God, this just keeps getting worse and worse. You know it's my brother's grand opening for his restaurant tomorrow and he wanted those prize winning pickles for his pickly Parmesan Petucci sandwiches. What are we gonna do? Now don't worry Lucas, I got it all figured out. This cereal is great at absorbing milk, Lucas, so it must be great at absorbing pickle juice, too. You just give your brother this box of cereal, he puts the cereal in his sandwiches, and no one will ever notice the difference in taste. <laughs> but why not just give him the pickles instead of the cereal? Well, isn't it obvious, Lucas? These pickles no longer have a jar of pickle juice to keep them pickly. Therefore, they will dry out and become regular cucumbers. And nobody likes cucumbers on sandwiches, Lucas. You know what? You just might be right, my friend. I'll go ahead and call my brother. Tell him we'll have the pickles, or at least the pickle-flavored cereal, to him in time for his opening. Just one second. Oh, Lucas. We always seem to get ourselves into the most zany situations and come up with the most creative ways to get ourselves out of them. <laughs> No, 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 I'm not. So I go and take the popsicle liquid, put it in the fridge, turn it as low as I possibly can. And uh, I'll wait a couple hours because I want it to freeze back up to popsicle temperature, right? And, uh, it never guess what happens. I go to my fridge, all my food's a big ice block. What, what am I supposed to do, right? Oh my lord, Feldman. You gotta just use my freezer. Your food's an ice block. How have you been eating? 
Well, I haven't. That's the thing, right? Like, that's why I'm so hungry. I've been licking the ice block to try and get all the nutrients out of it I can. And my tongue gets stuck to it. I've been dragging it around the apartment for three days. <laughs> oh, me. Three days? Three days, Helvin? You haven't eaten in three days? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, um, have whatever you want, I guess. Uh, it's all yours. Things are looking up, Chris. Things are looking up. I just got off the phone with my brother. He says, sure, we can use the pickle cereal for the grand opening. Now all we need to do is just keep that pickle cereal in good shape, and we're a-okay, buddy boy. See, Lucas, what's the deal with this grand opening? The place has been open for a month. We ate there last week, for gosh sakes. You can't have the grand opening after the opening. These restaurants are saying, hey, come in. We're open, but we're not grand open yet. We're just, we're just not quite there. We're, we're still working on being grand. <laughs> yeah. We're open, but we're not quite grand open. We've got a little more work to do till we're grand. <laughs> what they should be saying is, we're grand open on opening day. One day, one opening, that's it. Who cares what opening it is? <laughs> All I care about is getting this cereal to my brother on opening day, grand opening day. All right, all right. I'll make sure to put the cereal in a safe spot and... Oh. <laughs> this cereal tastes like pickles. Oh, felt man. Uh, you know what? Something about that seems very, very familiar. Yeah, you know what? It kind of does. But how's that possible? I thought our idea for a zany comedy with the real life situations in it was such a brilliant and new idea. Yeah, I did too. But to be honest, it almost sounds like a sitcom. Lucas. I think I might have just figured out what the word sitcom means. All right, all right, quiet down. Now, I don't know if you imbeciles have noticed, but there's only 30 days left in the semester. And you know what that means. 30 days until your videos are due. Mr. Griffith, can I use iMovie because Final Cut's too hard? Are you stupid? Honestly, I'm thinking about setting up a CPT 31 class just for you. Idiot. Now, the final 30 days is the home stretch. And I'm expecting that you will be done filming and on to editing your movies. I don't want to see anyone in the filming stage anymore. Or even worse, the planning stage. Chris and Lucas. Okay, 30 days left. It's crunch time. If we get down to business, we can finish this thing. But Lucas, we haven't even started this thing. There's no way we can get it done. Sure we can. It can't be that hard. Look at everyone else. They're having no trouble getting it done. That's the thing. We don't even have an idea. Well, then let's just use the next thing that pops into our head. Whatever it may be. Lucas, that's never gonna work. We're never gonna come up with anything good that way. This isn't some sort of fairy tale land, Lucas. This isn't a... Musical! Come on, everybody. We're making a musical! We can do it, Lucas. We can make a 
it's a musical And it would be beautiful Because it's a musical A musical, hey, hey We can do it, Lucas It would truly be beautiful If we make this a musical A beautiful time in musical Making a musical view I've got to have a really, really catchy song With really catchy lyrics that make people sing With these lyrics, Chris, we're onto the real thing The second thing, second when you're making a musical view You've gotta have some really cool dance moves You've gotta run around looking all happy And singing your song to the people who walk by Another important part that is usually in musicals Is how strangers seem to know exactly what you're doing they are not afraid that you're singing at them It's perfectly normal They probably even know the words We can do it, Lucas We can make us a musical And it would be beautiful Because it's a musical A musical, hey, hey We can do it, Lucas It would truly be beautiful It would make us a musical A beautiful time of musical Boys, now there's only one thing that you're forgetting, and that's the sad part of the musical. Now, everyone knows that a musical goes from happy to sad when you find a new information. A musical is how you got music to write. It will take many days. It will take many nights. You guys are both pretty bad at this class. I don't think you will get it done. It's time to pass. There's a month left in school and nine years isn't too long. Not long enough to write 20 songs. Let's be honest with ourselves. The skill level just isn't there. gonna be okay. You heard what Mr. Griffin sang back there. If we don't get this done, we're gonna fail a class. Chris, an idea. All we need is an idea. Ideas, Lucas. All we need is ideas. Okay, shoot up. Uh, a dog gets lost in the cave. <laughs> okay, um, how about a soccer player? One of those movies with the Olsen twins, but we're the Olsen twins. Um, Harry Potter 9, The Return of Harry Potter. Um, a snake gets wrapped in a knot. Giving up, I, uh, I just accept that we failed. Looks like I'm gonna have to retake grade 12 next year because I'm not passing without this credit. 
Man, that's rough. But I guess we gave it our best shot. And there's one thing you can be sure of. We had no shortage of ideas. Wait. We had so many ideas. And all of them were good. Most of them were pretty below average. But together, they could make something passable. We can do it. Wait. So it'll be a movie about our ideas. That's brilliant. Meet me in the CPG lab in 10 minutes. I need to pick me a chocolate bar. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. Sorry, babe. I gotta go save the world. A short film by Justin Staff. So, in a hundred hours, you produced Babes and Nades. Get out of here! You make me sick! to see you guys showed up, seeing as you've done nothing all semester. We have a movie. Yes. A 
movie. Take it. Awesome. I'll put it in next. I have to make sure I don't don't swear here by accident. All right. What kind of piece of garbage was that? Why am I even here? I cannot tolerate this anymore. You boys have no right to come into my class and do this. 100 hours and I get babes and nades and Chris and Lucas make a movie. I have had enough. Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh, no! 